Hola! How are you? Um, I am so glad to be back videotaping again. Um, we have endured a flu virus into our family. Thank you for all your kind thoughts and prayers for us. We're finally on the mend. If I happen to cough through the video, uh, please excuse my cough. Don't worry, you can't catch it by watching my video. So today, what am I going to show you? How to make your own little snow globe card. Oh my gosh, so cute, and you're going to be shocked at how easy it is. So stay tuned, we're doing that right now. Okay, I'm back, and I'm so excited to show you this snowman snow globe card. Um, and this card uh, is thanks to Jody Cutts that at our last big quarterly meeting with Alicia Rickman um, showed us how to make this super cute card. So it is thanks to Jody that I bring you this card today. So what we're going to do, I did a bunch of stuff ahead of time because what I really wanted to show you was how to do the actual snow globe part and not get bogged down with the actual card assembly. So what I have here is my uh, real red card stock and my whisper white and I, I'm just going to go ahead and tape that straight on there and probably should have done that part first but oh well. Oh, and look, I got a little dirt spot on there, but that's all right, because it's going to get mostly covered anyway. Okay, so then I have the gorgeous Christmas cocoa that has that lovely velour feel to it. And I'm using the 1 and 3 eighths punch, and I'm just beating it down as far as I can, centering it up the best I can, and punch that out. And, of course, we can use that for another project. We would never throw that out. Then what I'm going to do is I have our sweet treat cup, and I'm going to put some water in it. And I think it's best to use something with a little spout so that you don't um, spill water onto these edges. You're going to fill it like pretty darn close to the top, but not completely to the top. And then I just take some dazzling diamonds. And you could use any kind of like a bead or a glitter, but I'm putting in some dazzling diamonds. And I'm putting in, on a very technical term, about that much. <laughs> which is probably, I don't know, like an eighth of a teaspoon or a quarter of a teaspoon. Then I'm going to take, and I got, I got these at a discount store, and they're just the top-loaded uh, hockey cards. So they look like this when you get them. And then your sons or your daughters would load their hockey card in there. I cut it apart. So actually, out of each one of these, you're going to get be able to make two. And what this is going to do is form the back of the, the snow globe so that it doesn't um, leak. Now, I don't know if you notice this on the sweet treat cups, but there's a little slit that helps you to peel off this part. And I actually meant to bring my um, paper piercer because it helps me pick up this end. So you're going to watch me massacre this with a pair of scissors. Oh yeah, seriously massacred. Okay. Okay. So then you're going to peel that away with your water and your dazzling diamonds inside. And then you're going to take this back of this hockey card, and I'm just going to wipe it off because I did get it a little wet. There. And I might have got that a little wet there too. Okay, so then you're just going to push that on there like so. Get a good tight seal. And you saw the water squirting out, so I'm going to do this all over again because that's just not good. Well, no. Yeah, you know what? I'm good. I'm good. I'm going to be okay with that. So then get a good tight seal on there. And then you can see that that's your snow globey part. And here's a great way to use your um, craft and rubber scissors is then you're just going to cut right around the edge of the sweet treat cup. Okay? Not, not here, but where the, the adhesive part is, you're going to catch that right around the edges. And that's just going to cut away. Now, this would have been... Um, less messy if I hadn't put quite so much water in it. But those of you who know me know that I am the queen of overkill. So 
it would just make sense that I would put more than I need to. Now, I would actually probably recommend that you use two-way tape, or not two-way tape, but sticky strip here. But because that is time consuming, I'm just going to use some snail and pop that into that hole, like so. Okay, are you catching the vision for this? Are you getting it? Okay, so I'm going to set this aside, and what I did do ahead of time was I used the Holiday Lineup Snowman, so cute, and stamped it out and colored the, the last three snowmen in um, using Real Red, Old Olive, and Pumpkin Pie. And then I'm going to go back again and use my Inch and Three Quarter Punch, and I'm going to punch out the snowmen. Then, this is how you get your snowman, oh, that glitter will go down, that's how you get your snowman without getting your snowman wet, is now you have this disc with the snowman on it, and then again, probably two-way, or why do I keep calling it two-way, I apologize. This is probably where sticky strip would be a better idea than snail, but it's what I'm going to use and then just put your snowman underneath like a so. See? See? And then it shakes. <laughs> and then just put some more adhesive on the back of this. <laughs> this is really messy, isn't it? You're probably thinking, I waited for her to make a video of this. It's just a mess. All right. Now, before I do that, I'm going to wrap around my old inch and a quarter old olive striped ribbon. Is this ribbon not gorgeous? Oh my gosh. Love it. And I did a bow, didn't I? Let's see if I can do a bow while I'm stressed. I'm going to go with no. Well, maybe yes. All right. And then I'm going to put that onto the card front like so. And then I can play with that bow a little bit more. And then use my Hande Dande craft, or ribbon scissors. That was something that I learned about designating scissors to one thing. So these are only my <laughs> ribbon scissors. Okay, and I'm not going to do it because it will take up too much time and I'm guaranteed that it's not going to go well. So I just did the celebrate from Family Phrases because uh, actually the wording is let's celebrate, but I just did celebrate. I would just feed that through, tie that onto there and pop a, a uh, dimensional underneath it to make it lift a bit. And then Look at this. Through the magic of television, I had this perfectly made one. And then it just shakes. Look at it. And when Jody showed us at the quarterly meeting, she had made hers like a month before, and it was still holding strong. So this will hold. This is, isn't this, look at it. It's so cute. So I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed this. Thanks for stopping by. And I promise that I will be a better blogger, but I had to take care of my family first. And, and and I actually had to take care of me too. <laughs> so thanks for stopping by. I love you guys. And do you like my nails? Caitlin and I went and had our nails done. Thanks, Carolyn, for recommending your nail guide to us. So have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. I love you guys. Bye-bye.